What are these two bad boys, Scott? Um, well, granddad, grandchild. Who do you think's gonna be better? Well, for grandchild. <laughs> well. Personally. This is actually a driver that we're selling for Mel. Yes. Mel's kindly yeah. asked me to sell. The TaylorMade R11S yep. driver. If you are interested in purchasing then please hit the comments down below. Absolutely. Uh, shameless plug of trying Ooh. to sell something there. Uh, but we kind of said, let's see what the difference is. We didn't know how much difference in age there was between these two. 10 years. But we've now just discovered it's 10 years. So let's take a look in back in time, 10 years of TaylorMade drivers. I was young then. off then Scott we'll jump straight in and have a look at looks it's very bright isn't it a 10 year old driver yeah. bright white don't see many of them anymore no I almost feel like designers of golf clubs have kind of reined it in a little bit yeah I think Nike obviously left the market the bright blue went off the off the table and the Mizuno have gone away from blue yeah tailor-made now away from white but what yeah. do you think of it looking down at the ball Scott uh the, the contrast between the top of the head and the face is lovely, to be fair, but bright, dark. Yeah, I almost feel like you've nice. got to be confident that you're going to hit a good drive knowing yeah. coming onto the tee with a bright white driver. <laughs> Whereas I think in previous years, it's probably something no one really cared about. It's quite a short face as well, but deep. So it's really almost like, deep. It'd almost suggest it's a low spinner, wouldn't it? So, Not necessarily, it's just one of them, mate. That's the way they were designed 10 years ago. All well, looked slightly smaller with a CG stretch back. Obviously, the neck's still the same as yep. the current day. Absolutely. That's something Taylor made have stuck with. So Absolutely. If you've, if you've got any old shafts, you can still pop them in the new ones. Yep. Weight system on the top. This is where things get tricky. Yeah, so... A I wouldn't hexagonal even... system oh. of some sort. I wouldn't even know where to begin. It's at, almost, neutral, it's at neutral. Almost like a tightless sort of system, yeah. Scott, I'd say, where it's got an N, yep. a C, a C plus, O plus, and O. Yeah, so you've got open, more open, closed, more closed. Oh, there you go. I was just about to say, hit yeah. the comments down below if you know what that <laughs> is. But obviously... That's what it is. Neutral, open, more open, closed, and more closed. Yep. So currently set in neutral. Scott, just hit some for us, mate. I know okay. you've been... Hitting some good drives, so we'll uh, we'll just talk about feel and sound, and hopefully it'll come through on the mic for us as well. Certainly a bit tinnier, but it does uh, yeah. it does get up and climb, doesn't it? Well, it's all dependent on the strike, isn't it? Like everything else, but yeah, it, um, it feels okay. Feels okay. I'm just not sure about the sound. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scott with a 10 year old driver saying it feels okay. Just gonna put it out there. Doesn't quite feel as solid as newer iterations, obviously, but it's had some clobber. Not with Mel, it hasn't. Not with Mel, it hasn't, but its previous <laughs> owner would have given it some clobber. Hi, Jace. Yeah, Jace Jones. <laughs> Nutting it miles. Oof. So that's yeah, that's actually, a, that's actually a pretty good one. I mean, that's Not reached bad. the hedge at the back. Where's my tea just gone? There. Grab a tea. In case we tee it up that little bit higher. So we'll hit two more with the older iteration of yep. driver. Then yeah. we'll hit the newer one, and then we'll discuss the differences in 10 years. Yeah, I'm going to go straight out and say I don't like the sound of it. Okay. I'll be don't honest. Like it certainly sounds a little bit more tinny, doesn't it? Yeah. Similar to the design, I feel like the noise was a bit more in your face oh, back yeah, 10 years ago as well. Absolutely. So it was the design and the noise more in your face. That's just a low draw, but it's at the tree. I mean, wasn't it wasn't exactly. I mean, we're not really caring no, not where, it about where it goes. We are currently on the range. But even though it started off low, it didn't, uh, didn't have to take off. Yeah, it was climbing. One more with the R11S driver. <laughs> Winding up for a big one. Oh, I thought you were seeing if you can hit me. You know, your arms aren't <laughs> that long. I reckon I could make them that long. <laughs> Low, but look off. It Oof. doesn't half go. Yeah. It doesn't half go. Get, right. some, get some ball speed off it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Let's have a quick browse at the TaylorMade Sim. Right, Scott, so on to the TaylorMade Sim 2 driver. Yes. A driver we were both hugely impressed with. Absolutely. 
I thought it felt and just went far better than any driver I've tried yeah. in 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 the past, really. So yeah. if we just take a look at, first of all, aesthetics. We've obviously mentioned it earlier in the video. They seem to have calmed down a lot. Yeah. You've got the carbon fibre on the top, the little bit of blue, the flash of blue around the outside, that grey alignment, or almost alignment on the inside of the club. It, it's it looks class i feel as though this little blue accent on the sim 2 is probably as flashy as taylor made have been in the last half a decade well yeah you've only got to look at the bottom of it it's it's proper nike blue isn't it yeah but i say it's probably the most flashy they've been obviously technology wise yeah. now we've got faces that are built illegally and injected with foam in order to bring them back to tolerances. So One thing I did like about this year's iteration, they put they moved the, the yeah, port, they put the port off in the, the side face into the top of the head. But obviously, ten years ago, that wasn't even a thought. No, absolutely but not. All in all, we can agree that it looks better. Looks stunning. Absolutely. Any stunning. golfers who've been playing the game 10, 15, 20 years, comment below. Ten years ago, do you think you would have preferred this one? over the R11S mm. or was that just fashion because I'm sure we'd both be wearing different clothes 10 years ago to play golf Scott how, so old, how we, old was I 10 years ago I was 20 so yeah absolutely yeah you'd have been wearing a pair of trackies and some rock pots no <laughs> I never did that I never did that he did he did I lived in jeans okay yeah actually yeah you did I'll give you that right so four hits with the sim 2 Much different sound. Totally different ball flight as yeah, well. Yeah, to be honest, that's... Uh... Oh, maybe we should end it here, but... <laughs> that was another good... Uh, there's, there's a reason Scott's uh, testing drivers and not me. I've got a swing going at the moment. With the driver, anyway. So, initial differences, obviously. Sound is much more... Even though it is a bit tinnier this year, it's, like, yeah. it's thuddier still. Yes. There's still more of a thud. It's like, not quite that ping... Ting that yeah. you'd hear that you still do with ping really. Yeah, that's um, just kind of there. It just doesn't suit my ear. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's very subjective, like anything else. Yeah, I see. I have no doubt there may be people watching this. One of the uh, seven billion subscribers we have, yeah. um, maybe uh, prefer the R11. Oh, I topped that one. There you go, ladies and gents. Um, Ten years of technology. You can still top them. You can still top them. That's almost our mantra on this channel. Yeah, if absolutely. You, no matter what you're gaming, if you're crap, you're crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's no, a low no. rakey bullet. Again, the sound, it just... It just sounds good, doesn't it? It does sound more appealing. It's got, I mean, it's come straight out the bottom of the club, so... What we've got to ask is, can we judge the R11 on the fact that the new driver f sounds better? No, of course you can't. But we'll discuss that as we come to it. a big one that's a good one right no, I'm tired. The corner of the range i uh, made him hit eight golf balls he's tired now yeah so let's get them both together and that we'll, uh, we'll discuss some differences dun, 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 burn. <laughs> it's a sound effect yeah lovely. so in essence i think this is still a gameable driver Scott. Absolutely. the r11 absolutely is very much a gameable driver um would we want to game it Probably not, because we like new stuff. Magpies. But in reality, in 10 years, what has changed? I mean, technology in drivers has changed in regards to off-centred hits and things like that. Yeah. Trying but to be more consistent across the face. If I'm correct, it was before this that CT testing came in. Yeah. So this yeah. face, technically, can be no less hot than that one. So in reality, if you no are more hitting, hot, the, you mean. yeah, no more hot. Well, no, that one's the newer one, so I think yeah, that one can't yeah, yeah, be yeah. any more hot than yeah, this. Yeah. So in reality, the only way driver technology has been able to change is to be more forgiving. Yeah. And obviously to point. change looks and to change sound and in essence feel. Yeah. So it's one of them. The attitudes towards fitting and coaching have changed as well. So that there's we've learned more things as yes. Trackman and GC Quad have yeah. progressed as well, so yeah, that of all helps. Yeah, yeah, I understand. yeah. Um, would say that the technology has changed somewhat. Obviously, this hexagon thing's obviously got a lot less complicated. That's now turned into a little thing there. But even on 
obviously sim this year don't have a sliding weight, but no. the sliding weight's going to be much more easy for anyone to figure out than this. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, in essence, what's changed in 10 years? Not a lot. They're still as good. It's just whatever suits your eye, suits your ears, yeah. and is what is fitted for you. Unfortunately, it's difficult to get fitted for clubs that are 10 years old. Obviously, there are ways <laughs> and means loft. around it. Yeah. If you get the right head loft, yeah. you can always get fitted into a shaft and yeah. things like that. But nonetheless, nice little, uh, nice little video, Scott. I think yeah. Look, we didn't know it was 10 years in the in the past, but we found no, out. You, you didn't. I didn't. Yeah, Scott. <laughs> Scott knows all about golf. But I'm just a golf geek. Yeah. What can I say? If you have enjoyed the video, okay. please hit the like because on this video we have a like goal of one million likes. <laughs> and please hit the subscribe <laughs> button because we are doing a subscriber giveaway when we reach 10 million subscribers. So make sure you hit like, make sure you hit the subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Brilliant.